Hey everyone, after experiencing grueling terrain in harsh conditions, encounters with fearsome wildlife, and surviving on meager food rations, or whatever else we could scratch together, we've made it to part three of our Canadian Rockies adventure. One more touristy adventure to show you, and then as promised, it's time to get food. gondola ride and we've arrived at the top of Sulphur Mountain. They have an information center up here as well as an observation deck. So what I'll do is take you guys around and show you what it looks like up here. So here at the top of the mountain you can see all the way down into the city of Banff. And one of the other really cool features out here is the boardwalk that they have up here connecting two of the peaks. So rising to 2,450 feet, Sulphur Mountain gives you a fantastic view of the Banff and surrounding area. On a clear day, I bet you could see tons and tons of the mountain ranges surrounding us. Alright, so we're almost nearing the top of the observatory. Come on on! So here we are at the top. I mean, I could feel a little disappointed that it's rainy and cloudy and all of that, but at the same time, I still think it's got kind of an eerie view to it. You can still see the color in the river. <laughs> Just glad to be up here. What do you think of this view? It's nice. So I think we've had about as much of the views and the rain, of course, as we're about to take. So now we've come to the Sky Bistro and we're gonna have an early lunch. The Sky Bistro is located on the third floor of the Discovery Center. What you'll find here is an eclectic menu of locally sourced produce served with a breathtaking view of the mountain summit. Oh nice, our food just arrived. Nice and crisp. It's got a little bit of mustard aioli on there, but it's nice and light. They've also got some tomato chutney on there. And the maple dressing adds a little bit of sweetness. Mm. There's a hint of heat. I think there's like a little bit of um, chili in the maple sauce. But again, it's really just there as a hint. I wouldn't consider this at all a spicy dish. Here, you want to try this? It's, it's actually really good. So Jamie was nice enough to share her pasta with me. So what you have there is a tomato oil and chimichurri. So you can see that it's it's got all those herbs and everything in there. Let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. A lot of layers of flavor to this particular dish. Mm. If you come here to the Sky Bistro and they have this on the menu, then I definitely recommend this one. So while the whole setup here is admittedly a bit on the touristy side, I have to admit the quality of the food isn't bad at all. My understanding is the pasta is all handmade. While food
food is kind of the thing here on this channel. Don't sleep on the rest of the attractions here at the top of Sulphur Mountain. You can get your learn on here too with all of the interactive displays and immersive and educational videos. So that was a fantastic lunch and a great way to wrap up our time here at the top of Sulphur Mountain. But keep sticking around because tonight we're going to be stopping by the historic and iconic Grizzly House. We've got some fondue to show you guys. Can't wait for that food adventure. Hope you guys are super excited. Catch you guys in a little bit. So here we are at the famous and the iconic Grizzly House. If it's fondue and in Banff, then this is the spot you guys have to check out. So the Grizzly House originally opened as a disco, and they actually used a local Chinese restaurant for all their food. But when that restaurant closed, they had to start coming up with their own food concept for their guests. And the owners decided that, hey, why not try fondue? So we ordered a bunch of different things, some sides, we got the fondue, of course, both cheese and beef. They also do hot rock here as well. So you do have a choice other than just fondue. And I can't wait to show you guys all of that. So this is your classic Swiss fondue with Swiss cheese, white wine, and kirsch. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. The cheese is really strong and pungent, and you really get that wine taste coming through. Mm. Oh, and I love the garlic. It gives that extra punch and kick. So with the steak, about a minute for rare, two minutes for medium, three or four will be medium, well, well done. Lobster tail is about four minutes total, so say two minutes per side. So Billy was saying that he likes his lobsters drowning in the butter garlic sauce. I like how he thinks. Now when you're eating this much meat, it's always good to have a little bit of balance and get your veggies in too. Here we go, we got some lobster. Lobster's nice and fresh and just drenched in that garlic butter. <laughs> we also got another Swiss favorite, roasty. This is a nice shredded potato. this before there's no worries at all the staff here are super awesome and they explain everything to you even down to the timing for the different cooks on the meat check it out I got mine's perfectly medium rare mm. no joke when they talk about how much flavor there is in Alberta beef mm. I'm gonna try this next bite with some of their sauces
thing I should definitely mention. If you're looking for some really unique meats, they have game meats here too. We didn't go for it, but there's nothing stopping you if you want to walk on that wild side. <laughs> more lobster. <laughs> Let's drown it in some more butter. The only sad part about this meal is that bittersweet moment when you start looking at the hot rocks and you realize you're just about finished your meal. you guys, you really didn't think we were going to come here to a fondue restaurant and not do the chocolate fondue, right? All right, definitely make sure you come check out the Grizzly House and my man Billy over here. So there you have it, that's the Grizzly House. As long as you're cool with being part of the whole cooking process, and this is definitely a fantastic experience if you're here in Banff. Well, I think this about wraps it up for Alberta for us. I think we're still here for a couple more days, but we're spending the next two days hanging out with friends and family who live in the Calgary and Edmonton area. So for now, I think that's a good buy from Alberta. We had a blast here in the Canadian Rockies. A huge thanks goes to the people of Alberta that we met while we were here. Their friendliness and hospitality made this trip definitely one to remember. Thank you to you as well for watching the series. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already. I can't wait to share more food and fun adventures with you guys. Catch you all very soon the next time I get food.